Welcome back creative. Let's jump into how to achieve animal fur. I will be starting with two primary colors of yellow ochre and permanent red and my two value colors of white and black. I decided to add a medium yellow to the palette so that we can get a more vibrant orange for the highlights. Here I have my undertone, my base tone, and my highlights that will make up the whole face of the tiger itself. Starting with the size 6 filbert style brush and a size 18 flathead brush for blending. I'm going to start with my flathead brush and you want to make sure that your brush is wet when applying the undertone. I'm adding a thin transparent layer so that you can still see your sketch through the paint just so that you don't lose the pattern of the tiger's face. So where that oval is located on his nose, that is a guide for me to let me know where the highlights are. Here I am applying the base tone to the top of the forehead. Again, make sure that your brush is wet throughout this first application of paint just so that you can see the patterns and you don't lose sight of where his patterns will go. Here I've added a tip of black to my undertone so that I can create a deeper shadow for the tiger's muzzle. Here I'm just color blocking in all the undertones I see from my reference picture. And gradually building my way up to the base tones that are located on the tiger's face. And lastly the highlights that are located around the outer rim of the tiger's face. Here I'm just adding a mixture of the undertone, some red and white to create a pink for his nose. Here I'm blending in a black and gradually working my way up to adding some white and yellow for the shadow of his body. Because I want this area to be opaque, I am actually dry brushing this area, so I'm not adding as much water to my brush like I did for the face. Here I'm going to take my one inch mop brush so that I can apply it to the background so that it can give a more softer appearance. You can imitate the original background with the reference picture which has hues of green but I just stuck with my color palette so that's why you see me still using the warm colors. Here I'm just blending in some flat black to the background so that I can create depth and shadow under the tiger's face. Next I've blended in this grayish white 
with a tad of yellow ochre this will give you a first layer of what his shadows will look like before you apply the fur so instead of individually painting each fur strand and then creating a shadow for it you can make that as its first layer and the trick is just to add the texture on top. Here I am taking my pointer brush which is a size 6 and starting to fill in a flat black of the tiger's patterns on his face. So because I want this opaque I am dry brushing and for certain areas where I do not want to lose the pattern for the next layer such as the creases of his eyes where it will be fading into orange I wet brushed that area just so that it can make it easier for me to blend here I am blending in black and white to get a grayish first layer Though that this is the first layer for the tiger's eyes, I went back to apply a second layer of this color to the tiger's muzzle and outer layers of its face. Here I'm blending in some medium yellow and white for the first layer and then by the second layer I've started with that medium orange and then lastly I'm applying the pupils with a flat black and using that with a round small brush. If I want a certain segment of the portrait to dry, I just jump to another area and start applying more layers. So I'm gonna allow the eyes to dry a bit and start adding the next layer of paint to the tiger's face. So here I am applying a medium orange and blending it in with the flat brush still. I tend to dry brush a lot when mixing two colors on the canvas, but if you see every time I pause, I'm just dipping my brush in the water. I'm not drenching the brush, but I just take a quick dip so that the current layer that I'm applying can blend easily with the prior layer that is already there. Here I'm starting to apply the next layer, which is a mixture of the base orange and the highlight orange. I'm gradually lifting it so it can start creating a dimension for the tiger's face. Make sure that your brush is moist with water, not drenching wet, but moist to easily blend the colors together. All you have to do is already have paint on your brush and just quickly dip it in the water. Or you can even scrape it along the rim of the jar so that I can drip off any excess water. Here I'm going to go in with a small flathead brush and start focusing on the tiger's midsection. Here my brush is damp and I'm blending in some black with white to create a shadow under his eyes as well as his eyebrows. And just focusing on the reference picture to see where all his shadows are located. I haven't cleaned my brush with the black, but I just applied some medium yellow and starting to add some shadows into the tiger's eye. And then I went back to get just a small dab of ultramarine blue to get that green in his pupils. We are now reaching our next stage of blending and building, so I will catch you in the next video.